The winner is Alpha! Is Davis. 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 Ruth. Africa, welcome to Task Project Fame Season 6. Now, last night we had some fun here. We had a battle of the sexes, the girls versus the guys in the academy. It was quite the sing-off, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. And I, I love it when we win because the guys wallop the babes 8-0. Okay, I don't know which match you are watching. Let's get the facts straight. We, we lost by two points, eh? We had six, you guys had eight. And plus, we're saving our voices for tonight anyway, so watch. Yeah, I know, an 8 is a distinction, a 60, you need to work hard in okay. class. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, guess what? Everybody's got to bring their A game in the words of Principal Y. It's a competition, and that's why we call it Tusker Project Fame, Season 6. Welcome to you from Nairobi, Kenya. Tonight we've got a rocking show. We've got a playlist of songs that's been comp uh, compiled rather by our principal, Eric Wainaina. So he's not just our principal tonight, he's also serving as our music director. So we promise you 15 amazing performances. So Principal Eric, what can we expect on tonight's show? Well, tonight I got them uh, to sing songs that I grew up with and songs that I really, really love. And the rehearsals have gone really well. I'm so proud of these guys. We can just expect the best tonight. It's going to be great. So welcome to you, but let's welcome the rest of the faculty, shall we? We've got our beloved voice coach, Ms. Kavuta, with us. A hand for her. Not to forget our lead choreographer, Mr. Edu. And on the keys tonight and back tracks, the one and only maestro, Mr. Aaron Rimbui. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we know who's in the faculty, let's welcome our judges for the night. Now, this is the beat maker, Mr. Smooth, Mr. Get It Done, Fix It, You Know You Got It, with Hermes Bariki, Hermes B. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, once again, our superstar import from Rwanda. Let's welcome the man who's won lots of awards, including a Cora Award. Let's give it up for Jean-Paul Samputu. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce another judge, but before I do that, I'd like us to all count together, okay? Together. Six, seven, eight. Yes, Ian, after five, there is six oh. and seven. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Mr. Ian Mbugwa. But ladies and gentlemen, before we go too far, let's do this. Let's meet up with the contestants and actually let's see what they've been up to in the, in the entire week in the academy. I want us to do today is I want you to put your hands here and I want us to massage here. So chew big gum 
Move your hands to behind the jaw, here, behind your ears, and then the back of the neck. And then now chew that big bubble gum. Ready? I like the way you do the things you do. I forget the lyrics. Jennifer, today is Wednesday. You only know one verse. Okay. Because I'm happy. Come along if you feel like that's what you want to do. Yes. That's good. Bior, get out. Get out. Bior, go, 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 go. And stay there. Okay? I made a little bit of noise. Yeah, that's why I was just uh, out. All right, music, let's go. You have it, you have it now. Stand by. Five, six, seven, let's go. And, and, bring it up. And up. And down. And down. All right, cut the music. Happy birthday, the IEC. Happy birthday, dear Izzy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Izzy. Let me go. Bata keke, bata keke, tukule sasa. The cake, it was pretty nice. They put it on my face. I just got lots of kisses. It's probably because of the cake. They're trying to flick the cake off me. <laughs> We're going into a more serious bit of this uh, afternoon for a few seconds, where you choose your voting number. Everything is out there. You've got to close your eyes. Aww. Open your number and show it to the camera. Hey! The reason we do the thing with a hat is right, so that it can be completely fast. I was actually dedicated a song. Me, first, first Waronga. I'm still jubilated and uh, wow, I, I was actually somehow shy. First was dedicated a song, man. Leon is going to dedicate you a Sunday. First is going to dedicate the song to you guys. Peace. All right, it's Tusker Project Fame season six. After the break, we got our main man Kojo from Uganda, hey? So watch out, we got Jennifer here, all the way from uh, Kenya, and then we've got the lovely Angel from Tanzania. They're all gonna be bringing the house down. It's Tusker Project Fame, season six. Welcome back to Tusca Project Fame Season 6. Tonight we have promised you 15 rocking performances, so let's just jump right into it. From Uganda, Kojo is up first, and he's singing a classic by Eddie Grant, Give Me Hope, Joanna. On background, uh, we have Daisy, Bior, Michelle, Fess, Amos, and Josh. But right now, give it up for Kojo. Joanna, she runs a country. She runs in the banana and tea runs for. She makes a few of her people happy. Oh, she that run and that don't dress that oh. She's got a smile that that get that body. I see her face and a smile again. Oh, 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 oh. Joanna, give me hope, Joanna, give me 
hope, Joanna, for that morning come. Give me hope, Joanna, give me hope, Joanna, hope before the morning come. I hear she makes all that golden money to buy new weapons and the shape of guns. While every mother in the black so to fears the killing of another son. Sneaking across all the neighbors' borders, now and again having little fun. She doesn't care if the fun and game she plays is dangerous to everyone. Give me hope, Joanna, give me hope, Joanna, give me hope, Joanna, for the morning come. Give me hope, Joanna, give me hope, Joanna, hope before the morning come. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, for the morning come. Give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, hope before the morning come. Give me hope. Right. Way to start the show. Kojo from Uganda. All right, let's head over to our judges. Judge Hermes, do you have hope after that performance? Definitely. Hi, Derek. That's a good way to, to kick off a show tonight. One thing I liked about your performance is that you didn't try to sing the song the way Eddie Grant would. It's your way. I liked your creativity and the energy on the stage as well. Nice. Okay. We're going to move over to our faculty now. I saw Principal Eric rocking out. I know this is your playlist, but what did you think about uh, Kojo's performance? I thought Kojo's fantastic. Uh, Kojo's great every time. Um, well done, man. Well done. Well done. Good job, Kojo. All right, man. I tell you, that's how we do it. Just, just a quick reminder there. Um, he's from Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, up next to keep with all the theme of East African unification, we're going all down to Tanzania. Yes, we got a lovely lady called Angel. She's doing a song called Sina Maneno, and it's done by the late David Ohingo. Are you ready for her? Let's give it up for Angel. <laughs> Our lead choreographer Edu. Count it, count it. And she is loved all across East Africa. Our voice coach, Miss Kabuta. Hi. All right, and not to forget our principal, Eric Wainaina. So, Eric, if you could tell us more about this battle of the sexes tonight, well, what's going on? Well, tonight's show is about getting to know the contestants. So what we, do, what we did was that we threw them a challenge and said, can you guys come up with a set of songs that are going to help us sort of know more about you? And so the, the, the choice of songs is entirely their own, the arrangements entirely their own. And I tell you guys, these guys are all really, really talented musicians. Fantastic. Well, I look forward to seeing my ladies in action. Right, ladies? Come on, we got to psych up. We've got to take this thing. Okay, okay, yeah. But, but you know what they say, may the best men win, yes. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, 
Today is a, a very sad day here on Tusker Project Fame, but only temporarily. My lovely songbird, Juliana Kanyomozi, isn't with us tonight. She's got a couple of concerts in Uganda. She's rocking the Ugandan people. So we love you and we miss you, sweetheart. <laughs> but in um, her place, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce the man with the master plan. Let's give it up all the way from Tanzania, the land of Bongo. Let's give it up for Hermie B. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and now all the way from Rwanda. This is a man who's been on the music scene for very many years, extremely talented. He's a man qui parle très bien français, chante comme du feu. Il s'appelle Jean-Paul Samputu. And then we have, I think we've got just one more judge there. I think guys, you just sit there. Um, so, okay, Ian Mbukwa, that one there. Oh. All right, so I do realize it's an all-male panel of judges today. So my, my ladies, I don't know if it's a disadvantage or an advantage, but here's what I'm thinking, right? Let's keep this as democratic as possible to decide who's going to sing first. Mitch, okay, yeah. we flip a coin, well, what are we going to no, do? No, 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 we can't flip coins. We, I don't have a let, coin. Let's, let's do this game here. Rock, paper, scissors. Let's do that. Okay. okay. Ready? One, One, two, three, go. One, two. Ah, yes, so rock. Scissors, cut. No, 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 no. What's no. wrong with you? Scissors, which win where? In Uganda. No. I win. Ladies win. So we are going to be up first tonight. Ladies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming up, we need to understand that, you know, the, the, the battle of the sexes is going to be happening, but these guys had a visit from Anthony Hamilton. So let's take a look. Going. Right. Yeah, so, can I ask you a couple of questions? That's fine. Right. I have a couple of answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, maybe you can tell us a bit about how your career began. And well, it's just kind of uh, as a child, grew up loving music like like most of us. Uh, I knew from small that I wanted to do music. I knew I was going to be successful doing it. I never thought twice about it. I just stayed in music. I stayed in music classes. Uh, I got my first record deal back in 93, and I opened up for Joe to see, toured with them, did some backgrounds. I've, I've toured with D'Angelo, singing background with him. After that, I started doing more backgrounds uh, in studio. I moved from Charlotte to, to New York. Eventually, that stuff started buzzing my name, and uh, I sung at this brunch. It was a Grammy brunch, and uh, I didn't have a record deal. Coming from where I'm from, it's a song that I sang that night. Mm. Isaac Hayes introduced me, and I sung like a, a wild man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are the challenges you went through when you were first releasing your first album? I had this little taco meat hair mm -hmm. and stuff, and I would shave, and people wanted to see me in a monkey suit, and they wanted me to look like everybody else. And uh, thank God Jermaine Dupri believed in the whole package. So just proving to people that I didn't have to look like you. I don't have to. People are going to compare you to whoever they want. That's sometimes that's a, that's a blessing. Right. Is it right, baby? We have we've grown apart, and maybe I had a change of heart. But quality time, I. I'm feeling that I don't get it from you no more. Take this show on the road. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody wins. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, the superstars from the Academy. Shaka to 
Court at Fame Season 6. So tonight we are having a battle of the sexes. Me and my ladies uh, won the game, so we are performing first tonight. I'm saying we like I'm on stage right now, but my beautiful ladies are on stage. They're about to perform for you. Kele Kele by Nigerian Sensation. Tiwa Savage, give it up for my beautiful ladies. That's how you start a competition, a battle rather of the sexes. So we're going to head over to the judges and see what they thought. But tonight we're doing things a little bit differently. The judges aren't using technology, all right? We've gone to old school, a nice chalkboard and uh, some chalk, and they're going to be writing down their scores from 1 to 10. So can we start with Judge Hermes? Can we have a number from you, please? Okay, we have a four from Hermes. Whew, it's tough. Hermes, why a four, man? Well, for me, I feel like I was watching a karaoke band. Oh. It was all like all disorganized for me, noisy and all that. It was just, it was, it was just average. Okay. Uh, Jean Paul, something better from you? <laughs> okay, a six. We are improving. Eh? <laughs> okay, Judge Ian, I'm scared to even ask, but. Okay, a four also from Judge Ian. All right, so, all right, the, okay. So for the girls, we're going to move over to the faculty now so that they can score us as well. And Rimbui, let's start with you, sir. We got a six from Mr. Crucial Keys. Edu, show us some love, come on. It's a six also from Edu. Come for the girl power! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see it. Point two five. It's a seven point <laughs> two five. <laughs> Highest score yet. <laughs> Principal Eric. It's a seven. I, I like it, okay? We're doing much better in the faculty end of things. <laughs> but girls, I think you did great. 
Your average score is five for now. But that was just round one. We're coming back. Ladies, how do you feel about your scores for the judges and the faculty? Just wait for the second round. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned on Tesla Project Fame Season 6. We've got more with the guys after this. Welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. My name is Dr. Mitch. You can follow me on Twitter. It's at D-R-M-I-C-H-E-R. -E you can check out everything that's happening on this show. Today, it's all about the battle of the sexes. You know, they say, oh, the sexes are equal and what? Yeah, we love our women, but sometimes you got to show them who is boss. Huh? So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, let me introduce you to the guys. TPF. Gun. TPF. Gun. We're going to rock. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, they're coming up with a song from Cool and the Gang. It's called Get Down. What you gonna do? Do you wanna get down? What you gonna do? Do you wanna get down? What you gonna do? Do you wanna get down? What you gonna do? Do you wanna get down? Standing on the wall Get your back up off the wall Whoa, Whoa. come on How you gonna do if you really don't wanna dance Standing on the wall Get your back up off the wall I heard all the people say Get down on it Woo. Get down on it Get down on it Get down on it Get down on it Come on, yeah Get down on it your body to move, body to move. What, what, what you gonna do if you really don't want to dance up by standing on the wall? Come on. Get your back up off the wall. Say what? Yeah. Come on. How you gonna do if you really don't want to dance standing on the wall? Uh -oh. Bariki, how much do you want to give us? How much? No. Now listen, let me tell you. This is what happens when you pick a right song for your performance. It's a seven. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a seven from Judge Hermes Bariki. Judge Jean Paul, how many are you giving us out of ten? It's a seven, ladies and gentlemen. All right. The average right now is seven. You guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. Monsieur Ian Imbugwa, combien est-ce que vous allez vous donner? 
It's a five. No, but, but it's okay. Ian can't count past five. Eh? <laughs> All right. So up next, we got our faculty. All right, let's start off with Aaron Rimbui. It's a big eight. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. Next up, we got our main man, Edu. With a nine. It's a nine from Edu. Voice coach Kavutha, how many do you give us? 9.75! Are you feeling this? <laughs> that makes it approximately a 10, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> hey, hey. And, um, Principal Y, why are you going to give us a. It's a 9, ladies and gentlemen! It's a 9! So, that is what we call a performance, ladies and gentlemen. So, while they're doing the, 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 all of the tallying, I'd like to ask you guys. What do you think we deserve? 11 out of 10. No, we should have gotten 11, you guys. Come on, huh? huh? So what's... The... So the boys, believe it or not, you guys, you are at 7.85. Let's give it up for the boys in the lead! So you guys, um, what, what, what are you thinking right now? Are, are we okay? Are we doing well? Hmm? Huh? 11 out of 10, huh? Awesome. All right. So I think right now it's time for us to take a small ad break as you guys breathe in. And probably if you recorded it, you can watch the performance again. It was too hot, man. Welcome back to Tusker Project Fame Season 6. We're coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya, and it's time now for the Tusker Under the Crown promotion. So, what you gotta do is, first of all, find out what today's winning number is. Are you ready? Drum rolls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and, um, yes, I'm telling some more. It is number 67. Congratulations to today's winner. What you got to do is you got to send this code together with the six-digit code you find under the crown of your bottles to 21001 if you're in Kenya or 8338 if you're in Uganda. Be one of the first people to send this number and you could win lots of great prizes from Tusca. All right. So today we've got a battle of the sexes going on. I was doing a little mathematics in my head. I feel like there's some rigging involved. Those guys are 10 guys. There's seven ladies here, the judges are all men, we have one lady on the couch. But we're gonna come back, round two is coming. Ladies are performing once again a song by one of my favorite bands from East Africa, Saudi Soul, still the one performed by my ladies in round two. Let's go! Another one for the gentlemen, Lady Power. Looking very 
very sexy. To call a shaka bodo. To call a tip sicky dog. Uka samona ni penda. So even though Mitch is still bullying us, you're still the one, okay? Let's hear from our judges right now. Judge Hermes, can we get a number? Definitely. Joey? 5.005. Okay. <laughs> Jean-Paul? That gave us a six. All right, Judge Ian? 5.5. We're doing better in round two, okay? Let's hear from our faculty, Aaron Rimbui. Six. All right, Edu? 7.5. I like it. Kavutha. Girl power. 8.95. And Principal Eric. 8. Okay, we're doing much better than we did in the first round. Ladies, how do you think round two went for you? Um, thank you very much, judges and the faculty. Uh, thank you. Okay. You have a 6.57 currently for this round. <laughs> so well done, ladies. Okay, after the break, we've got another round from our gentlemen, so stick around on our Battle of the Sexes on Tinder Project Fame Season 6. Honestly, I don't have to waste any time. Judges, rock me. Hummies, a six. Sample two, eight. Judge Hummies, five. I told you he stops on five. Aaron, eight. Edu, 9.5. Kavutha, 10. Eric, Nine. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the guys. So 
So you guys, how do you guys about your performance? Huh? How are you feeling? Huh? You enjoyed it. 7.9, you guys, that's an 8. You guys were rocking. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, so Joey, what's up? Well done, guys. There's a lot of rounding up happening with these guys. Have you noticed? Everything just moves up one a little bit, but all's fair in love and war. The guys did great, and so did my beautiful lady. So if we could just move on stage right now so we can get the final score and find out who has won the battle of the sexes tonight. Okay. Okay. You guys ready? Are we ready? So my ladies tonight got a cumulative score. We rounded it up to a six. All right? Yes, please. It's not easy. <laughs> All right, and for the guys, the score has been rounded up to an eight. So they're the winners tonight. Congratulations, fellas. All right. The guys are going to get a night under the stars with cinema. Let's give it up for the guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that you know what the guys can be up to, tomorrow's show is going to be massive. They're going to be doing tracks from Eric Wainaina's Hey Days. It's going to be a good show. So be there, 7.30 p.m. tomorrow, same time. Right, so it is good night from both teams tonight. Remember, tomorrow we're on at 7.30 East African time from Nairobi, Kenya. We're live on Citizen TV here in Kenya and live in Uganda on Urban TV and TV West. And in Tanzania, you can catch us on EA TV and a rebroadcast on ITV at 10 p.m. Yep, you can catch us in Burundi on Rema TV and in Rwanda on Rwanda TV and in South Sudan on Citizen TV and it's rebroadcast on SS TV at 10 p.m. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow.